dear students in this video we will have a glance on e-commerce syllabus for bcom honors fourth semester so we will see different units of e-commerce and what all topics are involved in different units so our very first unit is introduction or introduction to e-commerce so the very first topic in this unit is electronic commerce meaning nature and concepts so very first we will be understanding what e-commerce is through its uh, basic definition and what is the nature of e-commerce and what are the different concepts involved in e-commerce another topic is advantages disadvantages and reasons for transacting online so of course there will be certain advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce and what is the reason that we are going for online transactions so basically we do it via internet and we do have multiple gadgets like laptop computer system or mobile phones through which we can easily have uh, through which we can easily have access to internet and as well as to different applications or websites via which we can complete our transactions online so another topic is types of e-commerce so uh, different type of e-commerce we will discuss in this topic then e-commerce business models so introduction key elements of a business model and categorizing major e-commerce business models so we will be having uh, different types of uh, business models that are there uh, like business to business and business to customer and brokerage and so on so there are multiple types of business models that we do have and how we can um, uh, make them possible through e-commerce so we will see that now next uh, subtopic of this unit is network infrastructure of e-commerce so basically this is another segment of the first unit itself which in which we will be discussing about what e-commerce platform requires so this topic uh, this particular subtopic involves the dynamics of world wide web and internet that is meaning evolution and features and problems and prospects so all we will be discussing is about the www or the internet and what are the advantages and disadvantages of internet how internet was evolved and different problems also associated with the use of internet then another topic is designing building and launching e-commerce website that is a systematic approach involving decisions regarding selection of hardware software outsourcing versus in-house development of a website so basically in this topic we will see how an effective e-commerce website can be developed or designed that will be very much effective for both business as well as for the customers now the second unit is security and encryption so of course when we talk about doing business online so various transactions are involved that we perform using internet and so we do require security also so this unit will contain the security concepts so the very first topic is need and concept of security that is why do we need security what is the need of security in e-commerce then the second topic is the e-commerce security environment so the dimension definition and scope of e-security so how uh, we can deploy security for e-commerce platform or for e-commerce environment there are different sort of measures that are involved while uh, performing any online transaction so we can uh, definitely adapt those measures then another topic is security threats in the e-commerce environment security intrusions and breaches attacking methods like hacking sniffing cyber vandalism and so on so basically there are various threats involved uh, with the security of the e-commerce and we do will be discussing about what all threats are there and what all types of different attacks are there that are possible while we are doing our business online or while we are performing e-commerce transactions 
then the another topic is technology solutions so this particular topic involves the encryption security channel of communication protecting networks and protecting servers and clients so if we do have threats for our security then we will be having some solutions for that also so we will be discussing what all solutions we can adapt like encryption firewall and so on so we will be discussing the different different types of methods that can help us with the security of the e-commerce now the third unit is it act 2000 and cyber crimes so very first topic in this is it act 2000 itself so so the basic definition of it act 2000 so in this act there lies various sort of laws that are made by the government in order to perform the secure transactions or the secure business whenever we are uh, or we want to perform any business online or we want to do it like using e-commerce then we definitely or a business must follow certain standards and certain laws under which the entire transactions and the different types of services can be made possible another topic is digital signature so it is a methodology it is a mathematical procedure via which a sender can authenticate itself as well as a receiver also can authenticate itself that is in this particular process we try to prove the authenticity or the appropriate identification of the one who is sending the data and one who is receiving the data so both the entities must be real of course whenever we talk about or uh, whenever we talk about an authentic uh, uh, transaction so basically digital signature is used for the validation of the identities of the sender as well as the receiver then electronic governance or e-governance so in this particular topic we talk about the different government norms that are used for uh, e-commerce platform or that are used for uh, performing business activities online so various measures or various laws are mentioned in this particular e-governance uh, topic then attribution acknowledgement and dispatch of electronic records so basically attribution acknowledgement and dispatch of electronic records that means whatever data is to be shared so an authenticity must be um, maintained over there that that is why digital signature wala concept that the, uh, the the sender must be valid uh, sender and the receiver also must be the authenticate receiver and both must have the acknowledgement of the sending of the data and the receiving of the data as well they cannot deny basically that the the sender cannot deny that the sender has sent the message and the receiver also cannot deny because ultimately in this online process we are more of about sharing the data or transaction so transaction in terms of document or transaction in terms of money so whatever uh, type of data sharing there is we will make sure that the acknowledgement must be there and then dispatch of electronic records of course that is the delivery of the uh, data successfully is being taken place then regulation of certifying authorities so basically in this topic we will see the different um, certifying authorities that are involved in digital signature process so certifying authorities are the one that provide us with the with the um, authority of providing the certificates for digital signature or for the transaction whatever transaction are to be made so the certifying authority is one that is uh, uh, that has the authorization to provide the certificates for online transactions then digital signatures certificates the same topic it is that is the certificates that we need for the authenticity and for valid transactions then duties of subscribers so subscribers will be here subscriber will be uh, those who will be performing the e-business activities and for those 
uh, there must be some duties that they need to follow so we will be discussing about their duties then penalties and adjudications so basically if there is some uh, penalty over there that is if somebody has not followed the or obeyed the law or is not <clears throat> as per the standards then there might be some offenses for that then a palate tribunal offenses and cyber crimes so of course when we talk about digital technology there are certain laws that are to be followed and if not then that comes under the cyber crime law or under the offenses so uh, we will be discussing those different offenses or cyber crimes under this topic now fourth unit is e payment system in this topic uh, unit we will be discussing about what all methods are there for payment electronic payments so the first topic is models and methods of e payments so what all different type of uh, methods are there via which we can perform e payments so debit card credit card smart card e money and other uh, sort of e payments are also available e cash etc and then another topic is digital signature so again the procedure working and legal position of digital signature how it works then payment gateways so payment gateways are the third parties that allow us to perform the transaction successfully then online banking so meaning concept importance electronic fund transfer automated clearing house automated ledger posting so online banking whatever activity we can perform the banking activities that we can perform online comes under this topic so we will be discussing that and then last topic is risk involved in e payments so the different sort of risk that we have to face while performing payments online or electronically so we will discuss about those risks then another unit is online business transaction transactions so first topic in this is meaning purpose advantages and disadvantages of transacting online so how we can perform the online transactions we will discuss about those and the certain advantages of disadvantages of online transactions then e-commerce applications in various industries like banking insurance payment of utility bills online marketing e-tailing popularity benefits and problems and features of e-tailing or e-retailing also we can say online services financial travel and career forex auctions online portal online learning publishing and entertainment so there are multiple number of uh, applications of e-commerce and we will be discuss uh, discussing about those applications in detail then we have another topic online shopping so we have different portals or websites for that we have amazon snapdeal alibaba flipkart etc so we will see all of them one by one so that is all about the syllabus of e-commerce we will discuss all these topics in detail in our classes thank you